is Strong and Sassy here on your Superstation Joy 99.7 FM. My name is Inimwa Inim Ado, and we are on until 8. So really excited about tonight's conversation, not just because of the guests that I have, but also what we're going to be discussing. But let me introduce my guests first. Um, two regulars on the show. Stubborn Academy. Yay. Pro Max. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay. Um, Esinam Batali. <coughs> Hi, Esinam. Hi. It's been a minute. Yes, it has. Is this supposed to be your... The changed version. Oh, jeez. We'll see, <laughs> <how long laughs> <you'll... laughs> we'll see how long that will last for. Please, 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 please. please. A lot of time. <laughs> back, to, back to the fourth. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. So, Esinam <laughs> is joining us um, tonight. Thank you, Esinam, for being here. And, of course, Aram. Hello. Who is uh, who also sits in for me? I'm sure you're very familiar <coughs> with her hashtag. Say no to booty calls. 
Um, if you're if you're her Facebook friend, then you know that. Hi, Aram. Hi. You're feeling yeah. Christmassy. Yes, I am feeling Christmassy. Already. Yeah. With the bow thing. The whole thing. Have you been wearing it the whole day? Yeah, kind of started. Kind of, sort of, mm-hmm. which is yes. Yes. Okay, so you definitely <laughs> want to go on Facebook because um, I always feel like you enjoy the conversation so much more if you're watching us. Of course, AC Nam's always on her phone, but the rest of us try to keep you engaged visually. Um, we are in the moment. <laughs> yeah, whilst <laughs> Madame is very serious, um, doing her PhD, mm. maybe. <laughs> Multitasking. <laughs> All right, so tonight we're talking about expectations on relationships. Not general expectations, but during Christmas and during the holidays. So I was reading um, this article where it said that couples fight more during special times or like holidays and stuff like that so i was wondering Mm. why of course the article goes on to talk about expectations and the fact that people are expecting more from um the person that they're with during the holidays with all the excitement and the buzz so i thought why don't we have a conversation about what kind of expectations you should have which will be realistic and which won't ruin the holidays for you because you'll end up fighting so that's what we're talking about (laughs) today Okay. All right. So, who wants to go first? What do you think? Really, I think senior that class prefects. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. mm. Yes. Don't go to heaven. Uh, oh, secretary. Mm. 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 Yo. Anyway, I think that um, it's normal for humans to have expectations. It's just how wild are your expectations, and what exactly are you requesting from your partner that? you um if the rules were reversed would you be able to provide same as you're asking of your partner so if you're asking them for quality time if you study their current circumstances if you study what's going on in your life because it's not everybody that slows down in december exactly um there are some people whose work actively begin in december and they are probably more relaxed in the um, beginning of the year or something the first quarter of the year mm-hmm. because maybe the December is their cocoa season quote unquote mm-hmm. so if you have that kind of person as your partner and then you don't the person doesn't have time for you you are unable to get the quality time that you are expecting and sometimes are not sometimes our expectations are also not communicated so you may be expecting the time from this person who is very busy at this point you probably not told him anything you know the current circumstances and then you are putting unnecessary pressure on the person i believe it's about setting realistic expectations for ourselves um in looking at our present circumstances and what's going on with us what's going on with our partners and being able to say okay if i got this i would appreciate it but if i don't get it to alhamdulillah it's like you know you figuring out she brings out a new thing (laughs) right now it's all right Please continue. Please continue. Zuki, <laughs> <Zuki, laughs> hey, Ram. What did I do? Go on. I mean, I mean, Esnam has <laughs> summarized it all. But me, what I'm even trying to understand is, how did we get here? Because, like, this expectation, especially in this jurisdiction, it's kind of sort of new because, like, I was birthed here and grew up a bit before I transitioned <laughs> into other dreams. That's when I used to know gifts and expectations were a thing. Okay. Right? Like, growing up in Ghana, it wasn't really a thing. Like, as a child, if you get a shoe, you get a shoe and all of that. But it being a thing based on, like, in relationships, it's very new to me. If it's Valentine's Day, I can understand. And that one, too, it depends on the, the, the health of your relationship, right? But Christmas... Having like really unrealistic expectations of your partner during Christmas, it's weird to me. Like, what do you want them to give so, you? So, for example, I mean, it's not even so much as the materialistic mm-hmm. things. Okay. Because, okay. Mm-hmm. So, if we're not looking at the materialistic. We're not looking at it at all. Okay. I mean. If we're not focusing on that, like she's saying, then it will come down to is this a good time? for your partner so it depends on what you're asking for so if you're talking about expectations it's not just like okay anything you ask for is unrealistic it's what are you asking for right. and what you're asking for can you get it i have a friend who works in a certain two industries in the beginning of the year to let's say november he shuts down one business and then goes into the other industry which is events 
and they are busy till end of the year. Asking that person for quality time is a problem because he just wrapped up one other business, which lets him travel and work and stuff to do something else. So you probably will not get your downtown till like January or like February. So if you want to make a fuss about it in December, it's going to be a problem. So it depends on what you're asking and if that's realistic. And I think another thing too you can also do is, how about you give your partner grace in this season? So if their work is going to involve being outside a lot, find a way to insert yourself into it and be part of it so that you don't get lonely or find something else to do until they can come around and give you what you want. So it's not about having unrealistic expectation, but what you need to ask yourself is, what I'm asking, can I get does it? There ha- does there have to be a conversation, do you think? Yes. Not in in some instances, yes, but I to mean, an obviously, extent, if you're no. married, mm. I, I'm not. I don't. I don't. I'm not sure of this conversation uh, because if you're married, you're in the house with the person anyway. So right. no matter how busy they get, they'll that's assuming hopefully you're married and you're living with your partner, exactly. right? So let's 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 actually just focus like on let me just say that house. some people, someone told me that their house is a dormitory. What do you mean? They just live there. (laughs) (laughs) So you'll be surprised that someone is married. They live in the house, but they don't see each other. Because by the time my guy will come back, it's 3 (laughs) a.m. Or God, madam has left. Then she wake wake up. up, (laughs) Thank you. She will wake up and go earlier than... I mean, yeah. Yeah, so so sometimes a conversation needs to be had. As I said, to an extent, Mm. yes, and to an extent, no. Um, in relationships more especially mm. the conversation needs to be had oh what's your december looking like yeah what's your festive season plans ha- what what are the plans you have i feel like we don't as as a thing of habit Ghanaians don't normally like to plan and i'm not saying this in absolution there are some people who do plan mm. but for most of us we wing it um, whatever happens we are going whatever happens is either you're going or you're staying at home so if you have the if somebody's getting you a ticket an event that you probably not planned for you may go mm. because maybe you didn't have the money to buy a money for this ticket yeah at this juncture hello. let's move on yeah yes yes mm-hmm. you will not so be you soliciting <laughs> for tickets <laughs> <laughs> to my festivities on the show. Mm, so you don't we have are open, however. Yeah, we'll <laughs> wow, wrap wow, if we wow, can wow. take it. Okay, wow. go ahead. I'm just saying hi, Walasi, whilst we're at it. <laughs> hi, manifest, whilst we're at it. Oh wow! Nice. <laughs> hi, you Samini. Guys. Oh wow! Wow! Oh, is the rust for me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, okay let's continue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so. Maybe you have not planned. I was born on Friday. She say hello to me. Hello, Efia. <laughs> Hi, Abna. Because Efia has a concert as well. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh my I'm god. Sorry. So you yes, so, so you see, you started they all it. don't have money, but they have plans in their head. If they get the ticket, hey, they will go. They will go. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. For a lot of the things we cannot plan for or we've not planned for, we keep our schedules open for for December for most mm. of us. So if your partner is not saying what they want to do and you don't have in mind the plan on how you guys are going to spend time together, trust me, it will be one person expecting and another person not delivering and there will be a fight. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And true. I mean, like she said, that's why I said it needs to be a conversation. And I mean, I think all year round, I mean, every time we've been on the show, especially the three of us and we have this, we, we keep, um, saying that people need to communicate. And so it's as simple as, babe, like, what are we doing this December? What's the plan? And then when your partner lets you know what their plan is, then you also know, like, how to um, incorporate yourself into their plans mm. or vice versa. Now, I don't know, I mean, maybe later in the show, we will we'll go on to, like, some ideas of things that you yes, may want Aram, to do. agenda setting. I yes, mean, yes. for the all the time. All the Bro. time. All and the time. She's that's why you love me. Hello. Okay. So as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted by Esnam. Me? Yeah. <laughs> so have a conversation about what you want to do and then find a way to do it. But I mean, during the show, I'll give you some ideas of what you can do. As wow, people. okay, okay. <laughs> I got it over me. <laughs> um, so conversation, right? You mm-hmm. sit down with your partner and then you're asking what 
should we do together what are some of the things you're going to do by yourself yeah. what's some of the things i'm going to do by myself yeah what if you can't find any middle ground because i mean what if your 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 person is like you know yeah actually boys boys they come from london mm -hmm. you know like we have our own yeah, surfing agenda landing. you know i'm not really trying to hang with you because like you're always like you're here you'll be here in general. really then why are we even together what do you mean by i mean i'm all for you time but how am i not in your you know, sport. I don't know. You know, there's two kind of couples. There's a the couple that go to an event and sit together and chat. Mm -hmm. And then there's a the couple that go to an event and don't talk, don't do anything because the mind is like, we live, we're at home all the time. So if we're out, like you do you, let me do you. So then again, it depends on the kind of relationship. That, and why did you look so surprised? No, but what why is are you that? out with somebody that you claim to love and you are just sitting there and you are doing you what because you don't see you? the other people what is what so i dated somebody once a very 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 maybe like 20 years ago or whatever yeah. and he had this yeah. thing of like when we go out like i'm with you all the time so if we go to like a wedding or something i mean sure we'll sit together but like at the reception i want to be talking to other people i don't Why? want to be talking to you what from them like having conversations. No, we all could be talking to other people together. <laughs> why do you feel? Why are you feeling a complete? Like, why are we even thing? making rules about like, it before we go out? That when wow. we go out, we it's not rules. I'm just saying that there are people like that. No, that is that. You see, that's the beginning, yeah, and then they start telling you about open relationship. Like, why are we How talking did to? How we go from zero yes. to hundred? Like, yes, like why are we? together and then we go out and we're acting like we don't like look at me like me i'm fine if you see me talking to other people he's moving on like if you i understand are you really, really like, sure you want to take it like, are you sure you are want you me to be talking to other people because i'm interested in that i'll be going in okay <laughs> you see people are threatening <laughs> people are threatening men oh, like I'm if you leave me, me. No, no, if you no, no, say no. that, then no. in fact, I will I, not just I talk to the person. I don't agree <laughs> to, like, I don't agree to the notion of you do you because we're out, because we're out most of the time. We are here, obviously, because this is a shared interest. Or you are trying to get me interested. Two things. Is it that we both love what's about to happen? Or, you're or trying you to get want me. to get me involved? Or I want to get you involved? I don't see how we're not talking. Like, okay. Yeah. This, this is another topic. Yes. Right. So let's go back to the expectations during Christmas. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the things that, as a, as a, uh, let's talk from the female perspective, we mm -hmm. can expect, or that is, is realistic, we can expect from our relationships. Can we expect to go to events together or should we kind of gear ourselves up for the, you're going to do your stuff because maybe you have things to do that I may not want to do. Yeah. You're going to be busy for work or you're going to do this. Mm -hmm. Like how do you kind of center yourself so that you're not, feeling too i think christmas too is a time for family and mm. over here during the time like it's it's mostly time uh -huh. spent with family. that's a very good point so for example if you're dating and you haven't maybe reached the introduction to family stages mm. stage mm -hmm. then it becomes difficult to navigate absolutely because then if i'm going home am i going with you or are exactly. you staying at, uh, home, right. at home exactly. that can that can be that is why that is a precisely why a conversation needs to happen mm. exactly so my fa oh my family will be coming from the u.s and we're all going to spend time at my grandmom's house at 24th 25th 26th you yeah. understand and that is an arrangement that has been made prior i really don't have a say in it i, I wish i could go with you but you know we are not at that stage mm. if you want us to go as a way for me to introduce you that will be fine but if not you get it like i think we should be honest about some of these things like why 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 would you feel the need to not tell your partner that this is what's going on and this is why i cannot take you to my family yeah. at this particular point in time like other than that, the, then people are in different levels in the relationship. Unless, like, the man is far ahead and you, the woman, you are far behind. And yeah. so you're like, I cannot tell you that I can't take you to my family. But if you are really honest with your partner, you can tell them that, okay, my family will be meeting at Kaswa um, on 24th, 25th, 27th. Everybody's coming from the village and everything, and we're going to do some food. And, yeah, I think you can come by on the 26th. I think you can come by any day that you want to come by that's fine because again it's family gathering and if you indeed had a problem like if you indeed want this person in your life as a, a partner in the future mm. i don't think there's nothing wrong in bringing them unless they are not the main you yeah that's a whole unless different story or unless you are you are you are you're not sh so sure about them unless you're not serious about the nature of the relationship but if indeed you are 
you should be able to be upfront about your plans and get them involved if they want to if they'll suggest other other things to hear them out and then reach a consensus on what we're doing so mm-hmm. at every point in time you know what's going on oh i thought we'd do this i thought we'd do this i thought we'd do this i thought we'd do that yeah. you know other than that you would have high expectation you know some people just are there and they just expect that things will happen mm-hmm. without yeah. communicating mm-hmm. yeah and, and then, they expect yeah. their partners to read their mind as well and then that's a whole different mind problem. readers association so i think that like snm said conversation is key and then when it comes to the family aspect too i also don't want us to assume that oh usually it's just probably like a guy who will say oh i'm not ready for you to meet my family because i've been in situations where i'm like no you we have a family event but you can't come because we're not there yet according okay. to me and especially me my family members especially my, they are like leeches if they meet somebody like this mm. they, they've married you off that's it if they like the person that's finished. finished. If you don't like the person now and then can go to country, but if they like the person, it's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so I have personally said that the next time anybody in my family is meeting a guy, I better have a ring on my finger because you it, can't deal with them. Because it took a minute for them to let go of the last person they met. Okay. So yeah, so back to the issue. Back to the so, issue. So <laughs> have the conversation. What do you want to do? So I have, you can say, okay, I have family stuff here and there the boys want to do this maybe i have some friends coming into the country because i've had a situation where i called my then partner and we literally set out our calendar and then we see where we fit in each other into maybe you both love setting artists maybe there are some concerts out happening you can go together i feel like fundamentally mm. aram Esina made a very good point i think christmas is a good time for you to really find out if you are the main chick or not yes <laughs> I'm, i was gonna come to that okay I'm so some of know. these things will let you know because for me i i have this thing that i said and it's like uh, a mantra that i've used especially this year that has made a lot of things easier people treat you the way they value you so once somebody start outlining their plans for their holidays mm. and you don't see yourself in it there's no um oh even though i'm going here and here i think that f- uh, this to this maybe we should do breakfast in the morning we should go here for the weekend or even i have things i'm trying to plan with my girls for the holidays so i don't see why your partner is not trying to do something nice so you guys are not trying to do something nice together for the holidays then why are you together mm. that's when you know you're the main because if he doesn't take you to the house, he may take someone to the house. And next year, yeah. you'll be seeing, save the date. Uh, you go, you see your boo on the gram. <laughs> doing the <laughs> shifting. And then the also, shifting. another thing we also need to mention is that there are people in this country dating people and their partners are coming. The men's are landing. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. So yeah. if your partner starts disappearing, going to something in their village, you they can't you can't account for their whereabouts this holidays. I'm telling you, some the engagement is come. going on. The some visa wedding. interviews are happening. Yes, the fiancé visas, yeah. and I came home to find a wife. Listen, it's happening. It's happening. This, this. So you need to open you know, your eyes. I think you know the state of our relationship address. The <laughs> state of our relationship uh, address by the I mean, of the those year. of you who you can know, track, you, know your level. you need to know where they are. So are we supposed to go FBI this Christmas? CIA? If oh, we have no, just to. Just be observant. Yeah, you just, just need to be. Be present in the relationship and be observant and just take a minute to look at what's going on mm-hmm. I, I think sometimes we're just too far off dwelling on either the past or the future that we are not living in the present like if you're in the present moment you'd realize that mm, this thing is not happening like let's say no, he's going somewhere with friends and all of a sudden he's like oh you can go but my cousin that came from the US I'm going with her now when did your cousin come you get it like <laughs> when did your cousin come do you understand? All of us, I've been here with you all year long. Then now this trip is happening to somewhere out of town, and it's your cousin you're going with? Oh, no. I'm tagging along. It's about to be a... Yeah, they said don't come. How are what do you mean by there? don't come? Oh, we are there. <laughs> wow, Aaron. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I am... We are wearing the same pantalon. <laughs> you are going. I am there. But he said, "Don't come." Don't According come to who? Way. You want to so be from going? January to November, no. December. So then wait. all of a sudden, you want to go with your cousin? No, no, it's not wrong to want to go with a cousin. But why the cousin alone? Exactly. Which why cousin? 
Which kind of cousin is that? Oh, your bestie just came back. No. Oh, wow. Yeah. Bestie. Your bestie just came mm, back. Okay, we're so, going together. So and we're cool. coming back together. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is a lot of aggression. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's all love, baby. It's Calm all love. Calm down. Calm down. It's just that some people don't like to speak the truth. Mm. That's the problem. That's what so we if you here. just say that oh you are you are seeing somebody you 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 you've been in a long relationship with somebody a long distance relationship with somebody and the person is now in at least we all know where we stand and you know that and that's the thing mm. people just don't want to be honest in their relationships and I think that is the bottom line for a lot of things the courage to be honest or even the um, ability to take responsibility of the consequences for being yeah. honest. Being is, held accountable. And being and held that. accountable is what people are actively trying to avoid. And so because of that, there are so many things they will not tell you. There are so many things they will not let you know. And when um, whatever hits the fan, they will start giving excuses, lying, yeah. lies upon lies to cover up. And then you, re you realize that the relationship is just not going anywhere. Like, anymore, how is it that you, we've been dating, we'll be dating for like two years? And every year, I know that your family has a gathering. And I'm not going. Like, year one, okay, maybe we are not there. We've been together the whole of year two, and I'm still not going. And I think that this season is for people to actually come to a place of understanding and apart from just doing the fun stuff i think that end of the year should be one thing that couples do whether it's relationships or marriages is to sit down take stock of the year exactly and plan reflect, for the year ahead reflect. what did we do right that can be an activity that you can do so even if you go outside of town or even in your house maybe take your kids if you're married to your siblings let them spend the day and sit down as a couple what did we do wrong this year it what can did be we get right. what did we get right spiritually, financially, psychologically. What well, yeah. did we do? Like, Take do stock of the year. Do yes, an do an of audit of the year. There's so the many That's why I said resources. Said the relationship address. Yes, there's so many resources online so that on. can help you. So, how did we do this year? What did we do right? What did we do wrong? What are our plans for next year? What is our plan for the next five years or the next two years as a couple? Maybe one person wants to go to school, do a top up. Okay, how is that going to affect us as partners? Okay, we've been together for two years. As a woman, this is like, okay, I'm going to be this number of age. This is what I want to do. So that you know where to... If the person, you're asking the right questions and the person is not answering you, you that will let you know where you stand. Because if we've been together for two years, like... What are we doing next year? We're getting married. Okay. Then it means that in this month, we need to go see our family. You cannot be with someone for two years and you haven't met any member of their family. Like, what are you doing? That's a risk. You keep going there every other weekend. Don't even let me start with the booty callers. But, and then you're not getting invited to anything. You don't know any cousins, uncle, and maybe their siblings are not even their siblings. Like, you need to go to their house this December. But... Take stock, wow, plan that, for the new year. It's aggression. It's aggression <laughs> for me. go to their house. Yes. Like there and introduce yourself. Yes. If they won't take you, go. But the <laughs> thing is, uh, if you're not sure... <laughs> Because your boo may not be your boo, okay? Mm. Like, so show up. Show, show up. up for them. I'm here to support you. I am a friend <laughs> of... Yeah. You can't unsee me. And when you, when you get there, make sure you come. In a way that they cannot unsee you. Look, look. Wow. Yes. It's aggression. For I, like a shock. <laughs> like, would you do that though? Would you show up? No, I wouldn't at show places. up. At places. I I don't show up at places. I'm not either. Minyan kamado. Like, I really appreciate my sleep. I because I don't get enough time for myself mm. because of the kind of like the job and. The amount of workload and everything. Yeah. And so if I have some time to rest and you want to go somewhere, it is you and it's your problem. Go. Last, last when you come, like you said, we will audit. If you say you didn't see the need to take me to your family members all throughout the year, mm. then I can see that, okay, and this relationship plan is B. not going well. Yeah. So I have to think of an alternative. Yeah. And then very soon, you receive your letter from HR. <laughs> you are fired. <laughs> saying that your contract has been terminated. terminated. Yes, abroad. your services are no longer I'm, needed. You know, what? I'm really loving that for women these days who mm. are able to to say at the end of a two-year relationship that 
this relationship is not going anywhere so this is it for me yeah as opposed to the negotiation yeah, yeah. of we've been together for two years when are you going to do this yeah. when are you going to do that yeah. when you, you know what i mean because yeah. in in the past it's been a very negotiations thing where you, it's like you're, you're having to negotiate on your value or trying yeah. to convince somebody yeah. to to do something with you yeah. but i'm noticing more and more that women are actually just saying you know what this is and i think another good thing to also do this holiday is first for me, the audit should start with you. So it's part of what you want to do with your partner. You take a bit of time for yourself and do an audit of your life this year and what you want to do the coming year and see where that partner fits in. If you have been in a relationship for a couple of years and you are taking stock and the math is not mathing, this December is the time to give an ultimatum. What do you think is the is the is the maximum number of years that you should be? For me, I give two years. Like I don't know what we're doing after two years. If we're not, if I meet you and we're not married oh. by the second year, it's a wrap. No, not necessarily. I married. mean, that's um. Okay. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Maybe that that's it for you. But for me, it's do I know the in most important people in your life, the people that matter to you. That's influenced your life you're growing up where you are now in the people who are currently in your life who you hold dear do i know them and do they know me mm-hmm. listen i will tell you a real life story based on this i to know somebody oh god <laughs> who, who like every like we'll go to their house we'll meet like oh wifey 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 uh-huh, our wife <laughs> our wife when he finally married it was not our wife that was cooking for us every sunday on sunday in this accra somebody came from america and that boy married her Hey, it doesn't matter who you people will introduce people to you in this Accra. So, eh? so <laughs> that makes the introduction wow. actually, that makes the introduction <laughs> thing sort of irrelevant, setting, right? Setting. Sure. They will intro oh my cousin, my uncle. In this Accra. Oh it, it, it will show you. They have used it to show you share your It will shock you. Things. You've met everybody. It will shock you. And then you see the wedding pictures on the yes. ground. <laughs> Add, Destination weddings. You will be, oh, I'm going and coming. Underground. What can you do? You can't do anything. Because exactly. the, the, the pictures thing. were posted that's, that's after the Back wedding. to my point, we're just not being honest. We're just not taking accountability. We're not taking responsibility. And you, you really think you are hurting somebody when you do some of these things. Eh? But you you'd sit back and realize that the burden of guilt will be on you so much. It will be it, you'll be it will be driving you insane, and you won't know what's what's happening to you, because you you made someone go through this amount of pain and this amount of hardship just because you wanted some level of gratification. So you've been with somebody, the person has been your partner and been there for you all through this while you are here, just because your first partner is in U.S. or in U.K. or um, in Canada or somewhere, and because of the long distance, you take somebody who is here to just entertain you while the person is there. And so when they come back, you leave them. What you've done is just waste someone's time. And that that may seem okay to you, but it actually hurts. It, it's, actually, yeah. it's, it's actually a terrible thing to do. And the lack of responsibility we take leads leads to that sometimes nothing will happen to the person they've shown you how they've shown you exactly Broken that's what i was about to say that Broken like hearts will not catch them people are mean like people will hurt you and leave you in the dirt i mean if you like i'm going to break egg <laughs> or you take it to the lord in prayer but whichever way the person has done you dirty and they've moved on so that's why we need to come to a place of taking holding people accountable somebody who say holding their feet to the fire asking the right questions and if it's not making sense to you it's not making sense yeah like two years we've been together we're doing everything together like how am i not meeting your family make it make sense and that's, what, me- that's what i'm saying i'm meeting the family is not even a guarantee exactly that so you are, that's you are, why you need to take the are, audit and but then ask again, the hard questions depends on your age that two years exactly. also depends on your age exactly. see I feel because if you're 21 and you're saying two years, you may not be ready for exactly. I mean, but obviously, if you're 39 and you're saying two years, what are you even doing dating at 21? I mean, well, wow. <laughs> we were dating at 20. I don't come in line. She was, you were beating not, boys. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When oh we come back, God. and we'll take some of your messages and maybe open the phone lines to ask you what some of your expectations this Christmas are. Stay tuned in. <laughs> 
Introducing Pick 4 from Game Park Games, the easiest lottery to play and win. Pick 4 numbers from 0 to 9, up to 3 times a day to become one of our daily winners. More Mula, more Park. Play online at www.gameparkgames.com or dial star 946 hash to play. Game Park Games is regulated by the National Lottery Authority, not for persons under 18. Play responsibly. Pick 4 from Game Park Games. More Mula, more Park. Our football fans wanted more, and Sporty TV is here on a new HD Plus channel to give you football and more. See selected weekly fixtures from the EPL, Bundesliga, Serie A, Saudi Pro League, Spanish Super Cup, DFB Poco, EFL, and so much more in HD quality pictures on Sporty TV channel 152. The football you care about is here in HD. Subscribe for 12 months at 290 Ghana cities only. Call 02. 242439872 for more information. HD Plus. See it. Feel it. Feel it. Get ready to immerse yourself in a tale of bravery and resilience. Journey into the heart of the Kwaman Kingdom, where Nana Akoto, a young prince, is captured and sent to the formidable Dinshra Empire as a slave. Nana Akoto faces a fate that threatens to erase his identity, but his spirit remains unbroken. In a quest to rediscover his true self, Nana Akoto must navigate a path full of trials. Will the power of Dinshra keep him as a slave, or can he fight? To reclaim his heritage and restore honor to the Kwaman Kingdom, don't miss Nana Akoto showing Mondays to Fridays at 8 p.m. exclusively on Aquaba Magic DSTV Channel 150 and Go TV Channel 102. Dial star 759 hash to reconnect or stay connected to DSTV and Go TV. Welcome back. This is Strong and Sassy here on Joy 99.7 FM. And um, I guess I am and Isinam, which I'm sure you're very well aware of. Um, do join us on Facebook. It's much more lively over there. And you can see um, Aram's new and improved hips since she's been at the gym yeah. a lot. Um, but yeah, all right. So Accra, get ready for the ultimate masquerade experience at Ancos in Accra. It's on the 17th of December 2023 at the Thea Val Villa Hotel Ashali Butre Old Town. So Thea Valley Hotel. It's from 11 a.m. through to 11 p.m. Thea Villa Hotel. You know there? Yeah. Oh, okay. Join us. Hi, Auntie Kate. Join us as we bring you the grandest masquerade championship that Accra has ever seen. Don't miss out on the enchantment and allure of our masks, the rhythm and beats of the brass band, and the tantalizing flavors of food and drinks. So to book your stand for food vending, please call 24 655 9291 We'll see you there. It's the Thea Villa Hotel at Ashali Butre Old Town, and it's for the ultimate masquerade experience in Accra. All righties. So, um, what were we talking about? <laughs> plans for the house. So plans for Christmas. So okay, so let's 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 talk about expectations, you know, up and up. What are some of the things that you can expect to do with your partner? I think it's fair to expect um to spend time with your partner because there are some holidays. Yeah, mm -hmm. a lot of so, long weekends yes, this um, this December. 25th, 25th. I have a question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I d what church do you go to? 
charismatic evangelistic ministry. Do you guys plan events for every holiday? No, we used to, but no, this year we're just doing 24th Sunday. It's a Sunday, so that's And it. then that's it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's move on. Yes, now, do you go to church? As a doubter. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! I'm a, I'm a, I'm a doubtist. Please, okay. So All right. So yeah. I'm coming to your church on Christmas Day for the Joe Metal concert. Uh, Hi, Joe Metal. <laughs> Whilst we're at it, but yeah, I'm coming. 25th. Yay. All the best. So that should be good. Okay. You should come, yeah. and I'm doubtist. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh huh. Joe. If it's Joe, you'll go. So, Joe, you have a couple of fans. Wow, that's for wow, tonight. Yeah, wow, sure. Wow, really... I didn't say that. So okay. We're coming before. Mm -hmm. I love for me. Mm -hmm. um, you forgot what you were going to say. <laughs> yes, you? you made okay. me miss my point. What are people doing? What are yes, their what are the realistic things? Mm -hmm. You said we can expect we can, to spend some time expect, together. Yes, we can expect to spend some time together. I think we can expect gifts. Um, if it's a thing, if it's a culture thing that you've been used to or you want to introduce into the relationship, but first you need to have like a conversation. What do you think about gifting and gifts yeah. and stuff like that? Do yeah. you think we should give to ourselves this Christmas? Because I think it would be nice to exchange a gift on Boxing Day because like, okay, it's a, a it's a day for, gi for gift giving. But if the person doesn't believe in setting aside special days for gift giving, and they one of those people who say every day is special. Every so, day, yeah. but it's not. Liars. It's not. It's not special. <laughs> I can tell you, they don't just just don't want to buy you anything. That's another reason why you should leave them. Wow. 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 Aram, no, I don't agree. <laughs> really? Maybe maybe they just don't know how to give. There are people who were not, who didn't grow up in the you culture know, like, of gift giving. You understand that they, they? You need to see a therapist. They don't know no. what to buy. They no. don't know what to. Yeah, like the idea of giving gifts to somebody. It doesn't. It's not something that would even come to you easily, unless like you are feeling extremely appreciative. But there are some people who say thank you a lot, and they genuinely mean it, and they don't feel they need to add an extra gift as a way to say thank you. Are you? But there are people to who give gifts, and that's okay. Whichever one you are, that's fine. But knowing the person that you're with is very, very important. And it will lead you to know what to expect mm. so that you can have very realistic expectations. Yeah. Like I said, if it's something new you want to introduce into the relationship, why not introduce it but have a conversation first? Because, again, it's new. Don't expect that once you bring it up, it will be accepted with yeah. um, with full hands. Yeah. But mm. maybe you, can, you, you may have to revisit it a couple of times Before. and try and explain it for the person to understand. <coughs> if the person is being long, leave it. And if it's becoming consistent that the things that you want to do, you are not getting it done, and the things that you want to happen is not happening, then maybe you're not with the right person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I also want to say that insta um, one thing you can also do is find a way to appreciate your partner during this holiday season. Maybe, I mean, if you have a wife who has been, like, holding you down or a partner has been holding you down the whole year maybe on the long like weekends that we have you want to take them somewhere you want to wake up early and do some of their chores you want to wake up early and get the kids ready for one of the sundays during this festive season you want to take the kids somewhere so she can go and get her hair done or get her nails done you want to give her some find we all know maybe your partner has been asking you to do something the entire year but you just haven't had time but then there's all these days find a way to appreciate your partner you know them better than we do yeah <laughs> so find a way to appreciate your man find a way to appreciate your woman instead of you can just follow him to the barber shop and pay for his haircut yeah cute yeah yeah, yeah. you I'm know change his tires take change his wardrobe get him some new shirts for the change all four tires i mean change his ties buy him a new shock <laughs> I mean, because that was just, very specific. Uh, call me and say, "Oh, I want to take your car for sex. I mean, fill his tank or her tank. Maybe you get some yeah, holiday friend. bonus. You know, do something nice for something your partner. Thoughtful. Something, something thoughtful. Something thoughtful. Something yes. they've been asking yes, you that, the whole not necessarily, year. Necessarily, like, but something thoughtful. Yeah, just, it should mean a lot. It should come at the point where the person. There's some things in my mind, but I can't say them on radio. But so, yeah. the thing is, I know they're also in my <laughs> mind. But there's some things, if you've been with someone and you're paying attention, mm. I find that it's not too difficult Absolutely. to like, know presents. what to give them. Yes. It may not necessarily be expensive, but sometimes the most thoughtful gifts are like just, you know, mind blowing. And mm. also, for people who are busy over Christmas, I feel like be intentional in showing that as much as I'm busy and I'm occupied and I can't be there with you, 
you know my 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 thoughts are or my heart is with you therefore because yeah. i think it's, it's on on the other side of that on being if you're with someone who's really busy it can be difficult mm -hmm. as much as you understand it um pacifically yeah. emotionally it's tough because it's like it's it is what it is to be you, you know what i mean like it's christmas and you're not here um and yeah. i miss you and i know that you're working but maybe there's something that you can do to just like you can just you know do the that. weirdest thing even people who are like long distance like i remember the, one of the it was the worst but the best christmas and mm -hmm. it wasn't a partner thing it was like with my parents so i was stuck in the uk i couldn't go home to france for the holidays and my parents sat at the dinner table and video called me and we all had like if you, you have a partner that's now. separate, you can literally set a time and have dinner. And Ghana face data to face. is a little, you know, but anyway, if get you Wi Fi, okay? Yeah, like, yeah. Get yeah. some Wi Fi and do something yeah. nice. Yeah. Everyone has to drop yeah. something on us every See, time. Always. See. I have so to keep it a bus. From UK to France, I'm going to be fair. Like, <laughs> That is not French, girl. Whatever know, it is, we understand each other, please. <laughs> Leave us alone. From so UK I did to France and back. Hey. You know how we do. Oh, no, we don't. Because we don't do <laughs> it like that. We know from my to You understand? From my to You people are the way back. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, closing thoughts. That's football. So we're closing a little bit, just like five minutes earlier. So, but what are your, like, you know, your closing whatever is? Um, be present in the relationship. Have the time to to talk, set expectations, and work on meeting those expectations. If for some reason you're unable to be there for somebody, I, I feel like you should communicate. You shouldn't expect the person to like, just accept it and just take it like, oh, but you should understand. You know, it's yeah. not, it's not everything that's that easy to understand, and it's not mm -hmm. it's not that easy to like deal with the possible loss of time. Um, possible loss of whatever I could have been doing with you that I'm not getting to do mm -hmm. anymore, you know. I also think that we should also do well in terms of gift giving and the ideas that we, um, the thoughts we put in some of the gifts that we're giving out, you know, because gift giving, as much as it's not by force, it's it's a way of expressing love. And it doesn't have to be a monetary gift, or a material gift, but it could be um spending time like all the several examples aram gave um I, I, yeah Funny videos. yeah not. you know, know. like put, take a lot of pictures like this a collage holiday. of all the pictures, pictures that have been taken yeah. and then most importantly show some love to yourself yeah um this and this festive season take care of yourself sleep well you know the read show is not about ourselves Okay, we're here. Okay, I mean, because okay. you can't give yeah. out of an empty yes. cup. Yes, yes, please. yes. Thank Pull you so yourself. much. Yeah, I mean, I would say just make time for your partner. Make time. Yes, you are busy. Make time. Nobody has time, but we make time. Make time, and then most importantly, do something different. Like I said, audit your relationship this year. In, wherever you go, whether it's a home or a vacation, just audit the relationship and plan for the year ahead. And if you do this, trust me, your relationship will be better in the coming year. All right. Well, thank you, Aram and Essie. Now, Fentuo, who's playing? Oh, there's a big game tonight. Yeah, there Newcastle is, isn't Newcastle against it? AC Milan. Oh, right. Ah. Everything is at stake. Everything. Everything. It's, it's so a the winner person takes who, all situation. It's a, it goes into the knockouts or yes, something exactly. like that. Yeah, it was, it was kind exactly. of... Exactly. Right. Newcastle are this close, but even if they win, they need another team to do them a big favor. So not everything is in their hands. Oh, okay. Well, sounds exciting. Exciting enough. Um, so we're handing over to the football team. Thank you so much. We'll be back next week, Wednesday. My name is Enimo Enimado. This is Strong and Sassy. If you missed any part of the show, just pop over to Facebook. The whole show was streamed there. Um, and I, I'm sure you'll love to see the gestures, the hips, the faces. Everything is, <laughs> is on there. We'll be back again next week. Thank you to the whole team, um, as usual. And um, I guess we can start saying Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. We will see you next week.